Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for coming by. I'm always super excited whenever somebody new watches my video. So if you're a new watcher to my channel, click subscribe. And that way you'll just be notified every time I post a new video, you know, and it just takes one click. And if you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate all of you who come and watch my channel every day. As you know, I do post daily videos. Um, I'll, it's all about improving the rideshare experience. I'm always offering new ways to make new money, um, new money or extra money, um, and just ways to basically better your life as a rideshare driver. If you don't know, I am a part-time Lyft and Uber driver, and I do it on top of uh, my other jobs. So I have a couple of jobs work at a couple startups, I have this YouTube channel, um, and I do Uber and Lyft on the side. You know, I, I think it's a great opportunity. So if you haven't yet signed up to be a driver um, for Uber or for Lyft, go ahead and use the links in the description to sign up. All right, so this video, the top 10 smartphone apps every Uber and Lyft driver should use. All right, I use all of these apps and it really helps me to better my experience. I make a lot more money. As you guys know, I always make at least $30 per hour, sometimes up to, you know, 40, 50, even more. It just depends, um, you know, on surge and stuff like that, prime time um, and tips. I get like 90% tips. This video is sponsored by Stereo. Stereo is a music company. They uh, pay rideshare drivers to play music. So this is the first one, the first smartphone app every Uber and Lyft driver should use. Why not? Why not make more money? So the company uh, is called Play Stereo. That's the website. And uh, you get paid to play new music. I'm a fan. I'm a fan already. 100% um, new releases. So yeah, this is super important. The, this is basically how they get paid and how you guys get paid. The biggest challenge new artists face is getting their music heard. Help artists of all genres across the globe get their, to get their music in front of new listeners and fans. So. If you've ever made music or you know anyone who makes music, it's really hard to get your music out there. <clears throat> but Stereo has created this platform that helps music artists get heard by passengers. You know, playing music in the car is one of the best ways for artists to get discovered. So um, yeah, you can make an extra $125 on average per month um, just by playing music in the car. All right, the second one is Waze. If you don't know what Waze is, it is a navigation app um, it basically shows you the fastest route to get to your destination. Um, yeah, they also have carpooling now, which I don't know. Oh yeah, Waze Carpool. I don't know, is, I guess they're competing with Uber and Lyft. But yeah, get the best route every day with real-time help from other drivers. Yeah, that's a really cool thing is that they actually, um, every anytime there's like an accident on the road or like even a cop, I don't know, but people can enter in. Um, what it is so you get like real-time alerts and if like all of a sudden there's an accident you know you're not going to see that on any other apps um, but Waze is really good um, for that all right number three is mile iq if you don't know what mile iq is it basically tracks all your miles um yeah it this is simply for tax deductions that's all you need it for because when you do your taxes at the end of the year you're gonna have to log in all of your miles that you drive. I mean, you don't have to, but if you don't, you know, that's a lot of money you're missing out on. Um, so yeah, Mile IQ can save a bunch of money. You get like, uh, what is it, 54 cents back um, on every mile that you put in your car. So anyways, Rider. This is a super cool company, Rider.io. Um, they show you real time, um, they show you hotspots and stuff like that. It shows you how much you're making uh, per hour on different apps. So if you use different apps, this is good. Um, but yeah, basically it shows you like high demand areas, shows you surge pricing, uh, events, if you have events in your neighborhood. Basically, it, it, this one also tracks mileage and expenses. So this is like mile IQ on steroids. You know, this is, this is really awesome. It basically like compiles all the different um, you know apps into one service so writers really cool podcasts okay yes this is a basic one it comes on your phone um already if you have an iphone but basically it you know you can listen to podcasts it, it's 100 percent free okay this is not it it's it's the app the iphone app <coughs> bless me 
this one. Okay, um, yeah. I don't know how else to put it, but this is what the logo looks like. Basically, you can type in, um, you know, yeah, this is it. Basically, you type in uh, whatever podcast you want, you know, if you want to listen to business podcasts or whatever. I listen to, uh, like, two podcasts. I listen to Views. Um, by It's by David Dobrik and Jason Nash. It looks like uh, this one. I don't know. This is... Yeah, this is what their their logo looks like. Um, <laughs> they're really funny. He's like 22. He's like 45. And they just talk. And it's funny. Okay. Um, and then I listen to uh, Dave Ramsey. He's um, like a business guy. Okay. Audible. Yes. Audible is really awesome. Um, this... Yeah. Okay. Audible. This one basically is audiobooks. You get a 30-day free trial if you want. Uh, 15 bucks per month access to any books I think yeah no oh, one audiobook after free trial three three titles a month okay cool um, so yeah you can listen to different books while you're driving so that one's really cool Siri this is a you know an unexpected one um, Siri is really cool because you can you know it's all hands-free you don't need to use your phone and you know it's illegal to use your phone while you're driving so if you use Siri, if you need to make a phone call, just say, hey, Siri, call whatever. Um, okay, I thought Siri was going to respond. My phone's in the other room. Um, or if you have another another type of service, then um, whatever one they have. But for me, I have iPhone, so I'll use Siri. Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy is super, super awesome. They show you nearby gas prices, and then um, you also get discounts on gas as well. Um, yeah, so just type in your city, like for me, I'll, let me just type in Los Angeles for the sake of, you know, being super vague. Los Angeles is huge, but yeah, basically it shows you all the cheapest, uh, prices. Like I will go to the one that's 309, um, as opposed to the one that's 429 because I don't want to spend an extra dollar and 20 cents. All right. Um, and then you can also get money back as well. The next one is YouTube. Yes, my favorite one, YouTube. If you're bored in between rides and you want something to do, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. You go onto YouTube and you type in Rideshare Hub. Dun, 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 surprise, surprise, this is me. This is my channel. Click on videos and scroll through and pick a video that you like. Um, I don't know. Do you prefer Uber or Lyft? This is an interview I did with passengers, or this is an interview I did with the driver. Um, or yeah, I don't know. This is 40 secrets most Lyft drivers don't know. Wow, 40 of them? I can't watch the whole video, it's 19 minutes long. Um, I know, you can watch it one minute per day for 19 days. Or whatever, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I love watching YouTube videos, and um, yeah, you can watch anything in the world. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. If you don't know what YouTube is, I don't know. Now you do. <laughs> oh yeah, Apple Music or Spotify Premium. I use Spotify um, just because they already have set playlists and a lot of times, you know, there's so much new music coming out that I don't have time to update playlists, but Spotify already has um, really cool playlists. Um, oh, that movie looks really good actually. Oh, okay, classic. Anyways, I got distracted. Here's Spotify, try Spotify Premium. If you're a student, it's only five bucks a month, so that's what I pay. Um, but I don't know. I guess you can do Spotify and Hulu for twelve dollars a month, thirteen dollars pretty much. All right, guys. So those are my top ten smartphone apps that every Uber and Lyft driver should use. Um, what's your favorite app? Let me know in the comments below. All the links to all of these will be in the description for you to download them if you want. And um, yeah. I hope this I hope you learn at least one thing new. If you're not yet subscribed, click subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you learned one thing new. And if you stay till the end of this video, comment below what was your favorite one? Was it the first one, the second one, third one, fourth one? I'm not going to go through all 10. But anyways, guys, it's been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. We will see you. I always say we. It's just me. I will see you all next time. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.